Welcome to another video. Let's do some quick integration. As you can see, what we have is the inverse secant of the square root of x. And these are functions that, especially inverse trig functions, we don't have a, a, a popular or a, a known antiderivative. So you can't say, oh, if I integrate inverse secant of anything, this is what I'm going to get. So you have to work through the process. So that simply means because you cannot find the integration, I mean, the antiderivative of inverse secant, you will have to do integration by parts or find some other strategy. And secondly, the argument is not just the just x, it's the square root of x, which means in order to even start this process, you have to do a u substitution to get rid of this crazy thing in the argument. So now we're doing u substitution and we're doing um, integration by parts, right? Because you don't know how to integrate this, but you can differentiate it. Or if you have the derivative memorized, then you can use it. But most people don't have these memorized. So you have to learn how to differentiate inverse secant. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get into it. So our very first move is going to be to do a u substitution, like I said. So let's say let u be equal to the square root of x. Well, you can write it this way, x to the one half. Okay, so we can say du will be equal to, if you differentiate this, um, it's going to be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, which you can write as 1 over 2 times the square root of x. But remember we said the square root of x is u, so you might as well write it as, um, let me put dx here. No, not yet. So we, um, let's say dx. Okay, and we know that u square root of u is uh, square root of x is u so we can write this as 1 over 2u dx okay let's finish this du will be equal to 1 over 2u dx and you can isolate dx by just saying multiplying both sides by 2u du this means that dx will be equal to 2u du nice so we're going to replace this with 2u du that means this integral actually is the integral of inverse secant of this is now u and we're going to be multiplying it by dx but our dx is 2u du put this here so you don't multiply well this gives us what 2u inverse secant of u du okay so we're starting the question afresh now assuming this is what we have usually <laughs> When I do videos, I tend to forget this too. So I'm tempted to actually bring in the two, or maybe at the end, I'll remind myself to multiply my final integration by two. Or maybe I should take the two along. I'm taking the two. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. <laughs> this is going to be equal to the integral of 2u inverse secant of u du. I'm doing this. So now we have a polynomial and an inverse trig function. And if you follow the Liate rule, which helps everybody, don't ignore it, okay? If, if the L is for logarithms and there's no logarithm here, and then the I is inverse trig function, which is what you have. So this takes priority if you're take, doing um, integration by parts, you want to differentiate this and integrate this. It is tempting for you to think that differentiating this will get to zero quickly, but you don't know how to integrate this and that's the problem in the first place. So I'm going to do integration by parts. I'm going to, oh, I always do my table because it makes my life a lot easier. So let's make our table here. It means I'm going to differentiate secant. So I'll be differentiating inverse secant rather of u and I'm going to be integrating to u. Okay, I think I like this. Okay? So that I can come back here and say that the integral of 2u inverse secant of u du is equal to, I'm going to write my answer out and watch what I do. So what I have here, hey, I'm supposed to have a 2. Okay, yeah, the 2 is in. Okay, see, it's already... <laughs> 
giving me some headache. Now, if I differentiate inverse secant, what would I get? We're gonna get there. Actually, um, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get one over the absolute value of u, but I'm not gonna write it. I'm just gonna state it that this is positive, okay? Times the square root of u squared minus one. That is the, if you've memorized it, this is the derivative of inverse secant, okay? I'm gonna show you how to get it. And if you integrate 2u, what, you, what you're gonna get? You're gonna get 2u, this is gonna be u squared over two, and this cancels this, so you just have u squared. Okay, plus, minus. If you don't know how to do this, just watch my other video, and um, you'll be able to catch up. Now. So this is our integration, and then how do you write your answers out? This is our answer. We're gonna start with u squared. So the first answer is u squared inverse secant of u. Remember that this is your u dv. And then we have minus, and my minus is gonna be the integral of this, which is gonna be the integral of u squared over this. I'm still going to show you how to get this, so it's going to be the integral of u squared over, this is going to be u times the square root of u squared minus 1. So you, when you go this way, you multiply, but when you go this way, you have to put the integral sign at any point, and this is the very end. Why did I stop here? Because I can integrate this. This is easy to integrate because you see this u will cancel this u. Let's write it one more time. Let's just say let um, y be equal to inverse secant of x. We're trying to find dy dx, which is the derivative of this function, right? Now, I don't know how to do this. What I'm going to do is write it in a way that I know how to differentiate, which is I know how to take the derivative of secant, right? It is secant tan, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will take the secant of both sides. So I'm going to take the secant of this also, secant of inverse secant. You see, the nice thing about this is this will undo what the inverse does, and then it gives you back your x straight. So we know that secant y is equal to x. So now I can take the implicit differentiation of both sides. If I differentiate this, it's just going to be secant y tan y times y prime because it's implicit differentiation. So I can say this is, let me write y prime first, y prime secant y tan y. Okay, the derivative of this with respect to x is 1. So I clearly can see that y prime is 1 over secant y tan y. But what was secant y again? x. So I can say clearly that this is 1 over x multiplied by tan y. How do I find tan, tan y? Well, I can use an identity that I know that secant squared, secant squared x minus 1 equals tan squared x, right? And then I can find the square root, but the square root has to be the positive option because the derivative of the inverse secant function is always positive. If you look at the graph or however you want to do it, okay? I don't want to spend time on it. I just showed you how to do the differentiation. This is going to be the square root of x squared minus 1. Or we can just make a triangle here. If secant y is x, just make a triangle. That's your triangle. The angle is y, angle y. The secant of this angle y, that's a tiny triangle, but let's just go on. If the secant of an angle is x, it means hypotenuse over adjacent is x, so hypotenuse x over 1, and by Pythagorean identity, the square of this minus the square of this is going to be x squared minus 1. That's your x squared minus 1, because the tangent of this angle is opposite over adjacent. That's another way to find your answer, okay? And this will be positive. So now we're going to integrate the final part, and I'm going to do a t substitution. I'm going to say let t be equal to u squared minus 1, and I differentiate both sides, I have dt will be 2u du, right? Well, all, I, all I'm looking for is u du because u du is sitting here. I need to replace u du with something in terms of t. If I 
one half of dt will be equal to u du. So I can easily go here and replace it. So this expression I have here can become, this integral can become what I'm about to write. It is the integral of u du, which I'm going to write as half dt. And then I'm going to write the bottom as the square root of t, because t is u squared minus 1 is the square root of t. You see? And I can rewrite this. Move the 1 half away, write 1 half on the side, and write 1 over the square root of t to be t to the negative 1 half dt. Okay? So dt is here and 1 over square root of t is the same thing as this, then I can int easily integrate this. Okay, if I integrate this, I get 1 half. Now, in integrating, remember I'm going to add 1 to this. So if I add 1 to this, I'm going to get 1 half, right? And then I'm going to divide by 1 half, and that's why this 1 half is waiting here. So it's 1 half times t to the 1 half over 1 half and um, plus c. Well, this one half will cancel this one half, so what I have left is just t to the one half plus c. But what is t to the one half? It is the square root of t. I'm going to write it that way, square root of t plus c. Okay, let's go back to the question. So it means that my answer is u squared inverse secant of u minus the square root of t. But remember, I can't write anything in terms of t here. It has to be in terms of u. What did we say t was again? t is u squared minus 1 is the square root of u squared minus 1 plus c. But our problem did not show up in terms of u, it was in terms of x. So let's go back and write our final answer in terms of x. So this is going to be, what is u again from the beginning? u is the square root of x. So, from here, u squared will be the square of this. This implies u squared is equal to x. So, I'm just going to write x here, and I'm going to write inverse secant of u is the square root of x. So, let's keep it that way, minus the square root of, what did we say u squared was again? x minus 1 plus c. So, the integral of inverse secant of the square root of x dx is what you see here. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.